I was called an incel. Is it over, you might ask? Well, we will figure it all out in this fine video. So, for those of you who don't know, perhaps you're new to the channel. If so, a warm welcome. Now, I am actually married and I do have children, so I found it quite funny indeed to be called such a thing. Now, at a first glance it might just be an insult, but it actually reveals something quite interesting in regard to deep psychology. So I thought to share a few thoughts in this video. Now, incel is a term used mainly by individuals who operate within a different value system. So I will introduce the value system of a man of honor. So my own value system, which is also the traditional value system that any sane society. So no matter where you are in the world, men have operated with this value system. And that value system determines a man's worth based on a few different criteria. So for me, when I judge a man, I judge him upon his competence, his ability to keep his word, that he never lies, that he takes responsibility. So responsibility, that is manliness in, uh, in one simple word, responsibility. So that is a traditional way for men to judge each other. So we can call that value system number one. And this also goes into female attraction for men. So if you have a well-adjusted woman who's grown up with a good, stable, respectable father, she will also judge potential mates according to these criteria. So she will look at a man, a potential mate, and she will say, okay, this is a beautiful man, he is fit and he has, you know, he displays good genetic quality, everything like that. And then she also judges him upon his status in uh, among his peers. So what do other men say about this potential mate? What does my father say about this potential mate? Is he a good man? And of course she should listen to her father because her father knows better because he's a man so he knows men better and he has lived for longer so he has more experience with judging men. So she will ask him is this a good man? Is this a good match for me? And he will either say no you know this guy he has been uh, he's been lying he has been showing up to work late. Uh, now, of course, we're talking in a very traditional sense, so I'm painting with a very broad brush here. So take it for what it is. I'm just making an example to explain, uh, to get to my point. So he says either, you know, this is not a dependable man. He is, um, you know, often late. He, he doesn't do his uh, job well, and he, he has been caught lying in the past. Maybe he is even a coward. Uh, or he says, this is a good man because he always shows up on time, he always does what he, say, what he says he will do, uh, he is brave, he is courageous, so then she knows, aha, great, and then she can, you know, make up her mind after that. So she says one guy, maybe the two guys are equally handsome or whatever, but then she also has to judge them according to their status in the group. So that we can say is one value system. And on a personal note as well, when I judge a man, if he wants to come into my circle or whatever, I'm not gonna judge him based on how sexually attractive women uh, find him. I, I judge him based on his valor, his honor. Is he a reliable guy? Does he keep his word? All of these things. So that's value system number one. Value system number two then, is when we come into these individuals who use incel as an insult. So that is when you base a man's value on how sexually attractive he is for women. Now you can actually have this as a as a value system in a very chaotic um, mating environment, so to speak, because we're talking about reproductive strategies here, that you can either get a female via being a good man, having high status, being respected in your tribe, or you can simply be attractive enough for females. So what these men do when they say incel, they're signaling to women that they listen to women, only the, wi only the woman side of attraction. So they forego this whole male judging of each other, they forgo the good reputation of a man in a male peer group and only look at is this guy uh, sexually attractive to women and they base his value on that. So when they call someone an incel, essentially what they're saying is that you are a bad man. You are a bad man and they derive that morality from the female sexual selection bereft of good male influence. So that is why you have the the recipe for chaos right there. So to only let 
the primal instinct in a woman decides. So it's not even a fully developed healthy woman's instinct, but it's a it's a cut down instinct in women who can decide then on the value of a man. So this can explain why sometimes women who have grown up without a father, they can have a hard time judging what a good man is. So they might look at a bad boy saying he is so masculine and manly, he is so he might be good looking, he might have a fit physique, he is physically strong. So they only look at that side, but they don't have that good male guidance from an older man who knows how men operate. So then she falls in love with said bad guy and she's left behind because he's not responsible. He doesn't have any honor, so she, so he leaves her and uh, yeah, she's alone because he didn't have the good guidance of a man. So when we're talking about the value system which uses incel as an insult, you have total chaos and this is not something you can have in a, in a civilized society because if you have that you will only end up with chaos. So you need to have those metaphysical structures of romance in place as it were. So a man, he needs to be dependable. So anyway, when a woman says, you know, incel to a man, it basically means I don't find you sexually attractive and that's an insult to hurt someone. It's, you know, it's not nice and if you're a woman, uh, it's not particularly classy to say that to a man. If a man says it, if a man calls another man an incel, it only shows that he himself, he is not in the value system of real men. He's in the value system of a woman who is only thinking with the very most primal of her instincts. So a man using incel as an insult, it's not even a full woman. So it's quite uh, it's quite low for a man to say incel to another man if you think of it in this way. Now of course someone might say, oh you're overanalyzing the situation. And yes, again, I'm painting with a broad brush. I'm not saying that if you have called someone an incel, I'm not saying that you're a bad man, but when you do a deep dive into the psychology behind the term, you will realize that yes, it's not an insult you should ever use against another man and especially since when I'm looking at it it's so absurd that being an incel would be a cause for criticism uh, so it only speaks of a very profoundly disturbed worldview so if you have a good worldview a good value system you will judge a man on again certain criteria and an insult then a true insult from a, a civilized perspective from a manly perspective would be to call someone a liar or a coward so those that is how you can truly insult someone and also speaking of which you shouldn't insult anyone it's low-class behavior uh, so for me personally I would never insult Andrew Tate I have said to him I want to fight you Andrew Tate so Andrew if you watch this perhaps we can set a date or something and also of course if you watch this again I know you're in a bit of a uh, in a bit of trouble now so perhaps now is not the opportune time but we can all we can both stay in shape so maybe it can happen later on so anyway i have no desire whatsoever to insult andrew tate even if i think he has done bad things or if he has said bad things i simply i want to fight him uh really simple stuff really straightforward so anyway think of that before you insult someone uh because in a traditional society insulting someone uh, i could get you into trouble and most of these guys who run their mouths online they wouldn't be able to back it up in um in such a scenario so it speaks quite doesn't speak well for anyone who uses insults now anyway back to the main topic at hand then you have two different value systems and i'm recapping here one value system it determines a man's worth and value on a set of criteria is he dependable is he respectable does he keep his word is he brave does he have capacity, competence, all of these things. And then you will have a good standing in a male group and then the women, the potential mates, they will see you and they will say, okay, this man, he is, uh, he has a good standing. It means he's a good man. And then of course, also the biological factors must be in place. It's n perfectly normal for a woman to want a man with uh, genetic qualities. So if she finds him handsome or whatever, it's a good sign. So I'm not saying that you should neglect these factors. You have two factors there. So the social and the biological. The problem more so arises when a woman only looks at the biological side and she sees a, a fit um, guy with thumos but perhaps he's not a good man because he's a, he's a thug or a petty criminal or whatever it might be. Now something else to say about these men, men who use the term incel, it's also a way for them to signal their virtue to women. So they always keep a look on the women please think I'm good. I'm good because you find me sexually attractive. And they don't say it directly. They don't say, oh, I'm so sexually attractive, but 
indirectly they say if they call another man an incel that automatically means then that they are so sexually attractive so they can actually gain female attraction and attention and thereby they try to raise their own value for other women so it's a it's a very passive unmanly way to signal your uh, supposed value but usually it's not the most handsome guys who use the term incel either uh, it's not the most attractive guys who use this term so it becomes even more pathetic when they try to signal to women that you know I'm not like these incels I am I'm so sexually attractive and popular so you can you can trust me I'm a good I'm a good match here because other women think this but not like these other guys they're the incels so yeah, lastly on another personal note, I judge a man, is he a good husband and a father? I don't care how much uh, how much temporary attraction you will get from females, uh, it's not where the true, uh, true gravitas lies. The true gravitas lies in being able to keep a woman for a long time, especially in this, the current situation where it's quite hard to have a family, it's quite hard to get married because of the how many things are structured. So that is the true respect. The true respect is not being able to have one night stands, it doesn't tell you anything. So good stuff, good stuff. Hopefully that was informative, insightful and uh, if you have ever used the term incel, um, I don't say that you're a bad individual but I'm saying that meditate on the matter um, and take these teachings to heart and then you will get a different perspective. So, do check out all the links in the description box below, wearing of course Legio Gloria, as always, best clothing company in the world. I'm my own greatest and most loyal customer, so cardigan and merino wool hoodie. Great stuff. I'll see you in the next video. XXO, boom!